take of Kristen. Today is totally different. We are not doing makeup whatsoever in this video. But Thanksgiving is tomorrow, so I wanted to show you this recipe that my mom always makes. And it's not her recipe, okay? She she don't cook. This is actually from Craft Recipes, K-R-A-F-T. And she makes this like every year. It's the only thing I'll ever ask her to make. <laughs> it is so delicious, so I just wanted to share it with y'all. There are probably videos on this on YouTube, but the one that I saw is pretty old, so I wanted to just make like a new one, make it fresh, you know? This is what we're making today. This pie right here. Mm, it smells so good. Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I kind of like messed up on this pie. I added like the wrong amounts of the ingredients, so we're gonna do it right this time. <laughs> And I actually used whipped cream, like the one that you spray, instead of Cool Whip, the one that's in like the little, uh, little like tub. So, yeah, I kind of messed up there, but we're gonna do it right today, okay? So, let's just get started. These are all the ingredients. You're gonna need two packets. Uh, oh, sh oh, sorry. I shouldn't be cussing. I just realized that I bought two different flavors. Oh my god. Why? This is why I don't bake. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep going. You want to get two packets of the vanilla flavored instant Jello. I got cheesecake and vanilla, but we're just gonna work with it. Hopefully it doesn't taste too weird. Then I got a whole box of Philadelphia cream cheese. I think you can use any brown, just make sure it's cream cheese, you know? I got ground ginger up in here. Got the ground cloves up in here. The ground cinnamon, which I forgot to put in the other pie. Wow, how could I forget the cinnamon? That's like, I feel like an important ingredient. Fine granulated sugar. Got the cold whip in the little tub this time and we got the graham cracker ready to eat pie crust yes this is so good this makes the whole pie i think so make sure you grab this this should be in like the baking aisle for tools we got two mixing bowls a whisk whisk that's what it's called right um i just grabbed a spoon and a fork just because to scoop things you know and a can opener oh shoot where's the pumpkin forgot to add this <laughs> this is kind of important you know for the pumpkin pie we got some Libby's 100% pure pumpkin no preservatives all natural okay you want to get the 100% pure pumpkin not the pumpkin mix or whatever okay let's get started uh, grab this spoon grab one mixing bowl I'm gonna put the other one to the side because I don't need it right now you look at the ingredients oh Oh, I forgot the milk. You can use any milk. This is just the 1% milk low fat, you know? I mean, not like I'm on a diet or anything. I'm making freaking pumpkin pie. No, I am just forgetting everything. I need to get the measuring spoons. Got the measuring spoons. We are going to put this whole packet of cream cheese. I know that sounds very fat to me, but you shouldn't be watching this video if you ain't trying to get fat, okay? It might be better to melt it, but I'm too lazy to go to the kitchen. I think I should zoom you guys in now because I'm pretty much just going to be, you know, making this pie for the whole thing, so. Okay, so I opened the thing of cream cheese. Now I'm just going to plop it in my mixing bowl. And because I didn't melt it, I'm just going to like flatten this out a little bit so it's easier for me to mix. If you want to melt your cheese, you can just stick it in. Make sure you take the foil off though because you're not supposed to microwave foil. It's bad for the environment. Just microwave it on like a plate for 10 to 20 seconds until it's melted a little bit. Or you can just do what I'm doing if you were lazy, but like me. Now I'm putting one tablespoon, tablespoon, make sure you do a tablespoon, not a teaspoon because that is a mistake that I used last time. So I'm taking one tablespoon of milk. One tablespoon of sugar. I'm gonna take my whisk and start mixing this. I hope my camera doesn't die before I finish making this pie because I just filmed another tutorial. A uh, makeup tutorial, not a cooking tutorial. 
haven't baked in a very long time. So that is why I messed up the first pie, but I think it's still gonna taste good. You know, I didn't make too many mistakes. I just kind of forgot the cinnamon. It's fine, we're making another pie. So this one is gonna be tasty. I wore my cute little overalls today. Kind of made it look like I was wearing an apron, but <laughs> it's not. All the bakers out there who are watching are probably gonna be like, what the hell is she doing? Look like she fine with the whisk. Like I said, I am not a professional. This is just for funsies. Now that that's well mixed together, I'm gonna mix in this whole thing of Cool Whip. And I freaking love Cool Whip. I love me some Cool Whip with strawberries. Like this picture. Mix that in really well. This is a no big pie, so this is gonna save you some time. I said, you do gotta kind of put it in the fridge if you want it to be cold. So if you're going to like a Thanksgiving dinner, whatever, a Thanksgiving party, Friendsgiving, and it's like a potluck type thing, you can literally whip this together in probably like 20 minutes max. And just stick it in the fridge. When it's time to go, you just grab it and go and it's ready. So I think that's pretty good. Now I'm going to open my graham cracker crust. Mmm, smells amazing. I'm going to put this on the bottom and spread it out evenly. It kind of looks like marshmallows. Wow, that's a lot. I think you can actually make two pies because I actually had some extra pumpkin when I made the other pie. Wow, that pretty much filled like the whole crust, so I'm actually gonna take a little bit out. This is actually my favorite part of the pie though. So we're gonna put this to the side for now. I'm gonna open this can of pumpkin. Taking my second mixing bowl and dumping this whole thing. And like I said earlier, you're probably gonna have a little bit extra, but that's okay. If someone wants to eat leftovers or if you wanna make a second pie, you can do that as well. Now I'm going to take a cup of milk. I'm going to pour both of these instant jello packets, even though they're different flavors. I'm going to take one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Teaspoon, make sure it's a teaspoon. In there, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, and a fourth teaspoon of ground cloves. Okay, I'm gonna mix this all together till it's all even. I'm just gonna plop this on top. And it should come out looking something like this. And now I'm going to put the pie. And this is actually the first pie that I made. Okay, that's gonna be kind of hard to take out if you don't have like a spatula type thing. <laughs> Well, that is it for this video. I hope you guys end up liking the pie because this is like my favorite pie. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you want to see me make or bake some more meals, dishes, pastries, desserts, whatever. <laughs> Even though my channel is mainly about makeup, but I just like to do like random stuff from time to time on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and hit your notification button so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Stay kicked, stay fierce, Lots of pie, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.